Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm the Whiskey Enthusiast. Today we have a very interesting, very special one. It's going to be more of an educational one because I hardly think if you have this bottle that you're going to search online to find a review or uh, to see what it tastes like. It's not one of those. This is an... Um, <laughs> I'll show you. This is a Lowland single grain Scotch whiskey aged 40 years at Cameron Bridge Distillery. There you go. Bottle number 39 of only 215 bottles from this cask. It's bourbon barrel filled uh, on 15th of February 1982 and bottled at, on uh, 16th of February 2022. Just literally 40 years. Single cask bottling at natural cask strength, not chill filtered, no added coloring, may contain small traces of cask sediment. And it's from Cameron Bridge. Cameron Bridge is the oldest and, as far as I know, the largest single grain uh, distillery owned by Diageo themselves. Just to give you context, 40 years, 40 years ago, 1982, uh, basically this is older than me, uh, Michael Jackson released Thriller. Um, the Argentina invaded the Falkland Islands and the movie E.T. was released. 40 years, 1982, and whatever big event happened in your life happened. It is single grain whiskey. What does that mean, single grain? Single grain is, uh, it's grain whiskey. It's not malted barley. It might have a little bit of barley in it, but mostly corn, rye, any kind of grain you can think of. It happens at uh, continuous stills um, from, uh, from uh, coffee stills, patent stills, uh, not copper pot stills. It's the long continuous one. You get higher ABV at distillation, but uh, you lose a lot of flavors because of the fast distillation and uh, because of the grain, neutral grain spirit uh, taste. But 40 years of bourbon barrel impartation should do something. Like I said, this is uh, not going to be one of those videos where you're going to be searching for, oh, these notes, did he get that? Did he... This is going to be more of a kind of an educational thing. What happens to whiskey? What happens to spirit in 40 years' time of resting in one single barrel? It's not married. It's not batted. Most of the whiskies you drink out there, whether it's 18 years, 12 years, 10 years, they're a batting of different barrels. They find the perfect taste profile, and because they're mass-produced, they need to get that. So... Let's say you get, where is that one? Let's say you have an Ardbeg 10. It might have 15 year old whiskey in it, 12 year old whiskey in it. It's certainly not a single cask. It's certainly not a single barrel. It's a very mixture of batting of, Jesus, sorry, marriage of barrels. Um, of course, when you see an age statement, that's the youngest whiskey in there. That's rule. Now, let's see what happened to this uh, spirit for 40 years in one single barrel. It, it retained its alcohol well. It was a good barrel, 50.1% ABV for 40 years. It didn't drop that much. Uh, it was probably filled around 63.2. Uh, That's the industry standard. Although I'm not so sure about single grain whiskies. That's what single malt distilleries do. Um, they bottle it at that. Uh, sorry, they, they fill the barrels at that strength. Uh, but I don't know about single grain, something for me to learn about, something maybe I should have done so before doing this video, but let me know if you know the answer to that. And guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying these things, uh, hit that like button as well, please. All right, let's see. Wow. That is, that is very interesting because if this was a blind tasting, if you, blind nosing, you gave me this. I wouldn't say this is a very old whiskey. Uh, you have to let it sit. You have to let it rest. Now, this is 40 years old, so I, it has been resting. And the bottle was a bit open as well, so there's air there as well. Uh, but it has been resting for 40 minutes. Now, it's every minute for every... Sorry, it's one minute per year, at least. So you have to let it open. But it's dusty, it's musty. You get the grain spirit there, definitely. Vanilla, honey, all sorts of uh, sweet notes. But there's a bitterness to it. There's a bit of a sour note there. There's, um, it's very dusty. It's, uh, there's a little bit of nail polish um, 
remover smell, which I usually get with Oloroso casks, but this is ex-bourbon. It lost a lot of its ex-bourbon character, I can tell you that. We don't know if it's first fill, I hope it was. You know what, it's not, you're not getting a lot. Like I said, this is an experiment. Older whiskey doesn't necessarily mean greater whiskey. It's, uh, it just doesn't. Uh, cask play is everything. The spirit itself is everything. The way that it's been, it's been kept, the way it's been distilled, the, you know, the barley, the grain use, uh, there's a lot of factors out there. Um, old is not better. It can be better, but that doesn't necessarily mean that. It's going to the palate, let's see. Hmm. Right. Ooh. Okay. Now all the flavors are here. Yes. Now I get the honey, the vanilla, the caramel. Oof, so woody, really, really strong. 50% um, ABV with non-chill filtering and the 40 years of age. It really hits you on the palate. It's, uh, it's not, it's like a disguise, the nose is. Nose is like a mask or like a little bit of a covering of a book. You think, oh, it's gonna be a nice and easy sipper. Uh, and then you open the book, you hit the, um, you get the palate and then boom, everything explodes. We get a lot of lot of wood. The bitter wood is there, but it's not uh, unpleasant. It's not unpleasant at all. The vanilla and the sweet notes are there. The problem with grain spirit is um, it doesn't give that much flavor. It's neutral grain spirit. It's it's made to fill the gaps of blended Scotch whiskey. So you know it's it's distilled at a higher strength to get more yield and more yield you get from the grain and the barley the less uh, flavor you're gonna end up with so all the flavor we're having in not all but about 90 percent on this one i would say it's from the cask and um after 40 years what else can the cask give so maybe there's a sweet spot to older single uh, grain whiskies I get honey nut Cheerios, there's a lot of roasted nuts, a lot of cinnamon, a lot of black pepper with honey. Honey is the dominant uh, palate. It's very uh, floral and perfumey as well and um, it's quite chewy, it's nice. And the finish is just goes on and on and on with sweetness and uh, oak bitterness. There is you know, there isn't much to say about this. I'm not getting any more. If it was a malt whiskey, then I bet you would get a little bit more. But uh, with a neutral grain spirit, it's, um, it's not having... Um, sorry to say, I can't give you much more than... There's a damp cloth and wet cardboard notes ever present. It is musky and it's a little bit musty and dusty. All the ease. And um, general note is honey and uh, beeswax. And um, like I said, this is 40 years of age. That was, this, this video is just to see what happens to whiskey in 40 years. It's undisturbed in one cask and uh, it's a privilege to drink it. Um, but I'm not gonna recommend this anything because this is, this just happened to be fall on my lap at a very reasonable price at an auction. But uh, if it were any more, I wouldn't have bought it. And, um, you know, if you have a chance, try. Try a 40-year-old single malt, single grain, blended, whatever. You need to do these things. You need to see what age does to whiskey. And there's no end to this education. You know, uh, I love old single grain whiskey, but oldest one I had before, that was 31 years old and 28 years old. And I love them better than this one. So maybe there's a sweet spot, maybe there's something, or it's the, it's the place of its, uh, or it's the cask. There's a lot of um, variables out here. I just wanted to share with you my last drops of a 40 year old whiskey because um, I finished this bottle with my friends and I'm now having my last glass with my online friends. 
Cheers, guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope you liked it. Um, if you do, please hit that like button. And um, if you haven't already, like I said, please subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. What's the oldest whiskey you drank? Um, do you like older single grains? Do you prefer older single malts? Well, just let me know. Let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear it. Thank you very much. Cheers.